Okay, so question 10, final exam review, uh, context here of a monkey swinging on a vine, 6.9 meters long, I'm looking for the tension in the vine, if the monkey, whose mass is 4.2 kgs, and it's moving at 2.4 meters per second when the vine's vertical. So, uh, reading this question, what we're looking at is a circular motion question linked to centripetal forces and uh, those type of concepts. So, um, I sort of considered the, the monkey sort of swinging, maybe uh, counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. And I'll model this the monkey is a small object at the bottom of a rope. So it's the same type of physics here. The vine is vertical and sort of swinging. And then we know that at the bottom there's a horizontal tangential speed here of um, 2.4 meters per second. So the monkey is swinging in this in circular motion, so they must have a centripetal force because they have a centripetal acceleration. And at the bottom, the only acceleration is the centripetal, and it points towards the center of the circle. So the thinking about the free body diagram for the for the monkey. There is a at the bottom of the uh, circle. There is a tension force on the monkey by the vine. And there is a weight force on the monkey by the earth. And the sum of these two forces must be um, equal to, um, of course, equal to the net force, and that net force equal to mass times A, and this A in this case is the centripetal acceleration. So if we assume, again, in this situation, I would you know, call the upper direction positive, and that would be the direction of the acceleration. So I'll make the t this this force positive and this force negative. So the tension, which is what we're trying to find here, minus the weight will be equal to the mass times centripetal acceleration. In this case, since we have the radius of the vine, I will use the ACP in turn, and we have the speed. I'll use the v squared over r term for the uh, centripetal acceleration. Then we're trying to solve for this tension. So the tension will be equal to m v squared over r plus the weight. So that's m v squared over r plus m g. So we have a common term there in the mass. So the tension will be equal to take out that mass term. And we have the centripetal acceleration term plus g. And we have all these quantities in the question. m is 4.2. Speed is 2.4 meters per second. The radius is 6.9. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. If you put those in your calculator, you should end up with uh, 45 newtons. So choice B being the correct answer for this case. So a circular motion problem, thinking about Newton's laws in the context of circular motion and solving for anything with a centripetal acceleration. So good combination of uh, concepts in this question.